FSHD is a disease that is severe and affects muscles. It's a crippling disorder and can be very painful at times. Typically it's diagnosed in the teenage years, so young adults discover for the first time that they have a severe crippling muscle disorder. FSHD, or facioscapulohumeral muscular dystrophy, is so called because it affects the face, the, the wing bone muscles and the muscles of the upper arm. And that's often the way it first manifests, an inability to smile for example, or difficulty chewing because the muscles in the face are not working properly. And then finally it can affect the strong muscles that allow us to stand and walk, thereby forcing people into a wheelchair prematurely. It's also inherited in a dominant manner, which means that if your parent has it, you have a 50-50 chance of getting it from your parents. In addition, however, up to a third of cases are so-called spontaneous. They had no genetic history of this and it just appeared out of nowhere. Imagine the horror of discovering that your child, who's been growing up normally, has now developed a crippling muscle disorder that may put them in a wheelchair within a decade or a few decades. FSHD has been in my family, so I was aware of it. My dad has it, and my auntie and my nana have it. None of those people are particularly were particularly affected. So I guess initially I, I didn't think it would be such a big deal. But I'm one of those people that always thought, oh, if that wouldn't happen to me, I'd be one of the lucky ones. I'd be one of the mild ones. So in some ways, I just assumed I'd be mild and I'd just get on with my life. So for the first 10 years, it it was really not a big deal. Um, I guess the awakening came after my first child, Ruby, was born, where I had my first really big drop in, in mobility. And it's really disempowering when you know that physically you can't protect your children all the time. Because there's a lot of things that I can't do with the children. Things, for example, um, going to the beach. You know. I would like to be in the waves with them. I would like to be running up and down the beach, fossicking through the rock pools with them, and, and I can't. In our family, we don't plan our future much more than a year ahead. You know, my husband and I don't talk about our retirement dreams because I don't know what they are. So for me, my dream would be to have a cure or a treatment or something that at the very minimum could halt the progress. I can cope with my life as it is now. And look, I'll cope with it however it turns out. But I would just really like to be able to say, hop into bed at night and say, I don't have to worry anymore.
Everything I do today is around the foundation. Everything I, I do in the business world, I donate the money to the foundation. Um, my life is really around the foundation and medical research. So, um, yeah, it's pretty all, all consuming at the moment and has been for the last few years. Well, I suffer from FSHD and after some 25 years of um, trying to research FSHD and watching the progress of research, I became very disillusioned with the progress. And I decided that uh, there was a need to, to fast track medical research, particularly in Australia where there was no research. We've never had any research until the foundation was established. Also, very importantly, we're creating a real awareness of FSHD and we're creating some real opportunities for Australian researchers to be involved in, in researching FSHD. Well, I think a cure for me would mean that we've made a difference to a disease that is a, a very common disease. Uh, for me personally, um, I think it's the satisfaction. I mean, the, the reality of a cure on this disease is there's 20 years of very hard work before we get to that point. So, you know, the, the benefits of a, a cure are for the next generation. But the, the satisfaction of actually making a difference and making a change Thank you.